Well, it's that time of the month, the 1st of February, 2023. And I'm here with my guitar and my, it's really cold outside right now. And uh, I got a couple of sweaters on to keep me warm right now. Hopefully my fingers will stay warm and my guitars will stay in tune. So anyway, so let's figure out something. Let's, let's, let's go with that. So we'll start off with that. Nothing fancy. this faster to copy and paste. I have a little two octave uh, keyboard that I use right now and so I'm gonna switch in octaves a little bit of a drag. Yeah that's kind of nice. That's different. And again yeah, I've always I always talk about this is that your first instincts creativity wise is usually uh, the best. Start with the G chord, go to A minor, have that pedal. Rocket, keep it keep it rocking. I'll let it let it go. Sometimes that's a kind of nice to have that little pedal going on there. Like I went to the Dorian mode there a little bit, which is cool. One thing, pedals are really fun on the guitar. They just are. Somehow I gotta get back home. And I don't hate that. That can definitely work.
This will be a little hard to play. You know, that's part of the study is to write some stuff that's a little bit challenging. So, I mean, it's not super challenging, but it's, it's challenging enough where they're like, okay, you know. Yeah, a little bit about this program. I've been using this program since really 1989, 90, I guess. Um, and uh, there's two big pieces of software, at least at this time. It was Finale and it was Encore. And Finale, you started with one <laughs> measure and you basically look like a space shuttle. And then. Um, and this one was a what you see is what you get. You just move things around. And I thought, well, this is a lot more intuitive. And it was a lot more economical, too. Ah, oh, come on. This one little jump here going from that to that is a little bit of a finger challenge, but I think it's cool enough that it works. Cool. And uh, that's one reason why you write guitar studies is to challenge you a little bit as a performer, as a player, a reader. And hopefully you understand it in music, there's so many things that are just, um, in music, typically, if we play something, you know, we, we um, are going to play it again. And so, you know, this is basically an A section uh, that I have, and then I have a, a, a B section, and then on the next page. Have a C section. Then I use to do what I call a solo, which is really a D section too. So um, form wise and structure, but we keep coming back to the A. A is the foundation. So without the A, you really don't have a whole lot of a lot of else going on. Going in there. And then a B section, of course, is going to be contrasting material. That's different. I'm always happy when I write something that I haven't done before. No. Okay, 
guy, brother. sequence going on. Interesting. All right. Oh, not great, but interesting and different. And we'll take that because we like having something that's a little bit different. At least I do. I think it's kind of nice to have something that's a little bit different. Yeah, the this program really honestly hasn't changed a whole lot since 1990, <laughs> um, which is good and bad, I guess. Interesting material from the A section. Yeah, that's a nice little piece there, actually. That's not too bad. All right, so let's come up with some other contrasting material. So I had a kind of a mel melodically B section. And uh, so I can kind of go, you know, I was going up and down, up to down to up 
lower in pitch to higher in pitch. So I can go higher in pitch down to lower in pitch. So I could do that. all right you know what I think I like that better and that's one thing also that you know quickly if something doesn't work know it and then fix it and not be afraid to say oh you know what that this would actually work better Because that part there is not going to get in the way as much. So we got to shift fingerings a little bit. That's all right. to kind of an E minor 7 chord there. So D chord. D chord. And I've been writing these, you know, for you know, a bunch of years, I guess since 19, well, actually 2000, so it's 23 years now. Uh, and so, you know, like everything, you get a little bit better as time goes on. Um,
That's kind of cool. Comes back to that. And I notice I'm not even thinking about it. This comes out. kind of go along with it I think it's awesome That's basically it then, isn't it? Say, okay, cool. Let's try that out. So let's play the whole thing. Um, hope you hope you all enjoy watching me construct a classical guitar piece from scratch. And guitar is one of these instruments. Classical guitar, at least, is one of these instruments that you really kind of need to play to have fingerings and everything like that. So here we go. Hopefully, I won't mess up too much. <laughs> Thank you. 
made it all the way to the end uh that, that sounded pretty good i think there's one area right here i think i might there's one thing on here that's off a little bit i think oh yeah that's it and that's it i was thinking oh you know is that it no 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 that is right that is right whoops that's what it because they in that sequence that's right so uh All right, cool. So there it is. Um, hope you enjoyed uh, watching me uh, compose this music. As always, rock and roll. And of course, it does compute. If you like this type of amazing content, please subscribe and tell your friends about it. Compute y'all. Subscribe.